Hi there. I'm sitting in my car and I'm about to head off for my cosmetic surgery appointment. Um, I'm a little bit nervous. Well, I'm quite nervous. It's a couple of hours journey because I've got to go to um, Elstree, which I haven't been there for a very long time coming from Hampshire. So um, we'll see how it goes on and um, see what the consultant says and if anything's possible and what's going to cost and all that sort of thing. Um, uh, I'll let you know later on uh, what, what he says and um, <laughs> uh, we will see if this is actually going to happen. So I'll let you know, okay, maybe when I arrive at the hospital, if I get there, because I always get lost because I've got the worst sense of direction. So I'll have a go. Right, we shall see. Uh, okay, I will see you later. Bye. Well, I've arrived at the hospital. This is the outpatients clinic. Um, I am <laughs> um, about an hour and a half early, which is typical of me because I hate being late. Um, I'm kind of relieved that I'm here, so it means that at least I haven't... I get really panicked, so at least hopefully I can go in and um, not feel too nervous. Hi there, here I am in my room in the hospital, waiting for my operation. They should say it's about 20 minutes from now. So, um, I, I am a bit nervous. I mean, my hands are a bit cold and sweaty, and but then I'm, wearing, I'm also a bit uncomfortable I'm wearing paper knickers. I mean, this is not a glamorous look, but hey-ho. Um, I just thought I'd um, let you know I'm fine. And I um, can't, to be honest, I mean, look at the state of me. I mean, I can't wait to get it done. Um, so I'm gonna have um, the facelift. Then I'm having the neck done. Then I'm having my eyes and you can see, it'd be lovely to see how different they're gonna look after the operation. But um, I will uh, post another picture, uh, as long as I don't feel too sick because um, that's the worst thing, isn't it, the anaesthetic. Um, the operation, they said, is going to take about six hours, which is pretty long, I suppose. Um, so I guess I might feel a bit sick afterwards. Um, um, but I'm all right at the moment. Uh, I'm going to put my stuff away, and I'll uh, let you know what happens later. Well, hello there. Here I am after my operation. Um, this is the next morning. Um, I'm not don't feel not feeling too bad. I've had some breakfast. Um, all I can say is I can't see anything. I'm I'm literally blind because I'm <laughs> well. I am blind to be honest because um, obviously there's all the swelling and the blood and everything, so I can't see anything at all. So if anyone expected, expected me to call them yesterday, I'm sorry, I just couldn't because um, I couldn't see my phone or anything. And, 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 but I've managed it. I've just got little slitty eyes so I can see it. Um, hi, everyone. Love you. Hopefully I'll be off um, once I see the doctor today. I will be going home, uh, I hope. Um, I can't see my face, so I don't know how bad it looks. You can tell me. Uh, love to you all. Speak to you soon. Love you. Bye. Hi there. Just want to let you know, I've just had, as you can see, I've had all the bandages taken off. Okay. And um, you can see everything is madly swollen, especially my eyes. And I can hardly see anything at all. And you can see the drains. The drains are going to come out. Uh, apparently it's not painful so we shall see um, 
apparently because my eyes were so naturally baggy and you know they're, they're really really swollen and when I put um, sorry I stopped there I was just getting uh, some paracetamol so one minute I've just said to you that the drains coming out are not gonna hurt but I think they might do and then I'm gonna have um, my eyes all cleaned and drops put in and I think that's gonna they're gonna be very bloodshot red which I'll show you later um, um, it's nice to have the I can hear again it's quite nice to have the um, the dressings off um, so I, 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 because I really can't see properly I have no idea how bad this looks do you know what the funny thing is the most the most uncomfortable part of me is my ears uh, isn't that strange because obviously I suppose they cut all the way around the ears um, I suggest you look on YouTube and look up a facelift and, and that sort of thing so you can see how much work is done around the ears and all the incisions are around there um, but I'm gonna go now because um, I'm just waiting I'm gonna have a rest before they uh, start and then I'm gonna have a, a shower um, with help from the nurse who's lovely and um, I'll speak to you later. Bye. Hi there. So we are day two, no, day one, day two. Um, sort of section two, because I've just had the bandages taken off. And had my hair washed. Um, as you can see, my my eyes are incredibly swollen, uh, which I think is quite rare to be honest. So this is just, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, the nurse is going to come sit, and we're going to put some ointment on and drops in my eyes, which apparently are going to make them completely blood red, and I'll show you that later, maybe tomorrow. Um, I mean, to be honest, it doesn't look too bad. I really can hardly see a thing. It's just a little sliver of sight. But I do think this is rare, so I'm not going to bother. Um, to be honest, the rest of it. And you can see here, this is where the fat transfer was taken from my stomach. And it was injected in here, so that's why that looks a bit... To be honest... And it's quite, on the left hand side, this side, it's quite numb. Um, but it's not mad, I mean, it looks more painful than it is. Um, but um, I am not gonna, oh, I'm not gonna tell you any more until tomorrow. So um, um, I will see you tomorrow and it will definitely be day three. See you later. Bye. Hi there. Okay. I look a bit of a shock, don't I? Flipping neck. Thankfully, I can hardly see myself, but today, sorry, is day three. Okay, now today's the day where you kind of think, what on earth have I done? Oh my God. It is bloody painful. So anyone that tells you that a facelift doesn't hurt is a liar. And obviously when you're in hospital and you're pumped up with drugs, you think, hey, I feel great. And then you get home and everything wears off and um, you feel dreadful. Um, I have to say still, because I mentioned it before, that the worst thing is not being able to see properly. I suppose <coughs> I envisaged my time... <coughs> In recovery, sort of sitting there doing a bit of knitting, maybe sort of taking up crochet. Um, but I literally cannot see a blooming thing. It's just like this blur. And I have to admit, it does quite affect you emotionally. It's a bit, you know, to sort of having to sort of start feeling around and stuff and everything just being this blur is absolutely 
horrible. I really don't have people live with it. Now, when I came home yesterday, I didn't have this chin strap thing on because on the last video, I'd sort of, uh, they'd taken it off. But when you get home and you just feel this incredible tightness, it's so uncomfortable. that I went onto Amazon last night and bought this for about, I think it was about fifteen ninety nine. I think there was a postage charge on it, which is a bit annoying. But I got it this morning, and I have to say, I know I look terrible still, but it feels so much more comfortable. I feel like it's sort of holding everything in, and I don't know why they don't give you this when you actually leave the hospital. But um, so I really like I like I like this, and I've got you can see I've got this nice pink cap on. Um, it's made of silk, and it just makes it just feels so much softer on my head because um, I don't think I can actually. I can have a shower on day four, I think they said. So I'm going to wait a few more days before I can have a shower. So I'm just staying in bed with the dogs who keep jumping on my flipping stomach, which is awful because obviously they took the fat from my stomach to sort of put into this, these folds here. Um, and as I say, you can see that one eye is more swollen than the other. This one's dreadful. But they're both dreadful. I mean, it's just flipping agony. Um... But to be honest, I've taken, I've got so many painkillers and stuff, and they're pretty strong. So, to be honest, I don't feel, I don't feel as dreadful as I did this morning when I sort of woke up and the pain hit me. Um, most of it's kind of calmed down. So, right. So, hi there. This is uh, day four, day three, four. God knows. Um, I'm still. Pretty rough. It feels pretty rough. Um, I think again, the biggest shock is still my eyes and and the blurry vision and everything. And I honestly think that um, when you sign up for this particular operation, I think it should be made far more clear to you about how much your vision can be affected. Um, but I know it's going to get better. It's just I've obviously got. An immense amount of swelling. I'm still glad I'm still wearing this. Da, 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 da. And I'm glad I bought that. I, um, so it was definitely worth the 15 quid because um, it just makes you feel a bit safer and that everything's sort of, yeah, a bit tighter. So um, I'm trying to keep my eye clean. Um, I've got ointment and the painkillers are very good, although I think I've only got a couple of those left because they're really strong ones, so I should be alright, I hope, after tomorrow with just paracetamol. Um, I think I would actually feel an awful lot better if I could actually see a bit better, so hopefully in the next few days um, I can see, and you can see what state I'm in. Look at my eyes, oh my God. Yeah, so there's no telly watching or anything. And also, like, when I went into hospital, I took things like my Kindle and I took my headphones and nobody said to me, well, you will you be as blind as a bat, you won't be able to see anything. And that you can't, your ears are so painful, you can, certainly can't stick a, an ear pod in there. So, um, again, another thing that would have been nice to have been mentioned beforehand, but I'm not, I'm not really complaining, it's just... Um, yeah, so, as I say, day four, um, not much different. I think the worst thing, I think, at the moment is when you wake up first, because I, I am sleeping quite well, probably maybe because of the painkillers, I'm not sure, but um, when you wake up, there's quite a lot of pain, and it's a bit of a shock to the old system. You go, oh, my God, you know, it just feels really, really, really sore. But I'm not too bad at the moment. Painkillers are fine. Um, we'll see what day five does. Okay. So I'm go I've done nothing but stuff my face today. You know, it just gives me a bit of comfort, I think, because you can't look at anything or do anything. Um, but um, so I'll, I'll send you a message tomorrow. See you. Bye.
Hi there, it's day five. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, you know what? My eyes are a little bit more open. So it's still blurry, but it's not anywhere near as bad as it was. Um, I've just had a really nice magnesium bath, um, which is nice. I am, I have to admit, putting cold compasses on my eyes quite a lot because it's just it really does help actually so I should have done that sorry right at the very beginning but haven't really um look you can actually see that eye you and I can see that eye I mean I know it looks like shit but oh god it's certainly better than it was um god it's just weird um I got changed because my husband's had to go to work back to work so I'm you know, got to try and pull myself together a little bit after the fifth day. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think I'm going back at the end of the week to get the stitches out around the ears and stuff. Not, not that I've looked at any of this. I really can't see it anyway, to be honest. But I don't feel terrible. Um, I've stopped taking the major painkillers so that's quite good so i just took paracetamol this morning and so it's not too bad everything's full <laughs> incredibly tight my nose is running sorry um uh i do find this cap this silk cap so cooling and relaxing though so i do like it so i've took as you can see i've taken off the the strap the neck and that strap but i think i will put that back on later because i feel i just feel more protected with it um, sorry, because everything's so swollen. If I've eaten anything, kind of, it's kind of getting into here. There we go. So, uh, yeah. So today is day five, and um, I, I wouldn't say I feel human. And I, and um, it was kind of embarrassing when the postman came this morning, and I was on my own, and I had to go down. Thankfully, Pete had left some sunglasses. So, I mean, God knows what he thought. But anyway, um, I'm going to go downstairs in a little while. I'm actually going to see if I... Because I've not looked, been able to look at anything or see anything for, for a long time. So, maybe I look at... The, I mean, I know it's depressing looking at the news. But there must be... I, I'm sure there's some EastEnders or Corrie that I've missed. So, I'm going to do that. Um... I'm just going to be a little bit more active, have something to eat at some point, because Pete's done it for me, thankfully. He's made me a sandwich and crisps and stuff. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I might take another paracetamol, but to be honest, it, I don't feel like I need it at the moment. So I'm not going to complain. Today is day five, and um, I certainly don't feel normal, but because, uh, I mean, jeez, look at me. But... Um, you can certainly, I mean, you can see. I mean, honestly, you can't, there is a difference. It's just that there's so much, you know, I've got that round sort of what you'd call a carb face. That's what I'd call a carb face, all sort of, sort of swollen and round. So today's day five. We're going to leave it here. Um, I'm talking almost normally. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. See what happens tomorrow. See you then. Love you. Bye. Hi there. <clears throat> it's day six. Um, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Do I feel any better? No, I do not. I do not feel any better. My eyes are worse than ever. Um, the right eye has got some kind of yuck on it. I don't know what it is. I think they said it is relative. It, it does happen. So, and it will just go away because I've got my antibiotic stuff. But I'm. Um, I'm exhausted to be honest with you exhausted um certainly as the pain um i guess as the swelling gets less slightly you get to feel the pain more so it is actually quite uncomfortable um you can sort of feel all this i can feel like every little stitch like in my on my ears and and on the back of like where my drains were at the back you can sort of feel it, it's like there's air going through it i'm sure it's just imagination <clears throat> so I'm um, obviously I think when I first started this journey I was hoping 
that by day six I'd be six I'd be saying oh I feel really good I feel but I don't I feel shit um, in a couple of days I'm off to get these stitches out that are in my ears which might help I'm not going to do anything for my eyes I shouldn't think I don't I don't know whether these stitches just dissolve on their own I don't know whether there is an infection in there I don't think there is I think it's just unfortunately my eyes are just seriously swollen I mean I don't know but um, I was certainly miserable last night and in a stinky mood so um, I think the pain does get to you after a while you just get in a really bad mood um, and I'm just getting oh, sick of not being able to see it's absolutely it's such a strain God, I tell you, nobody ever tells you this, how much of a strain it is to, when you're trying to look and see something. And, you know, I have absolutely no idea how bad it looks. Um, but uh, today's today. I am still resting. I am getting up a bit. I still, have, I still had a nice bath again and, you know, get changed. and, and But... Um, it's so exhausting. I just get really, really exhausted. Um, got some serious constipation now from all of the pain meds, I should imagine. So now I've got to take something else to get rid of that. So you sort of think, Oof, it's one thing after another. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave it today. See what happens tomorrow. Gee, there's got to be one day. Or I can actually say, hey, I can actually see. I can actually see. I can watch the television. Um, anyway, despite all that, I'm going to go back to the podcast that I can listen to. If Alexa will listen to one word I say, which she doesn't. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. See you tomorrow. Bye. Well, hi there. It's um, day seven. Um, well, I'm not in bed. Uh, which is kind of strange, I've still got my jammies on, but hey-ho. Um, so I'm downstairs in the living room. Um, doing very little. Um, I, I think my eyes are very, very marginally clearer. Uh, marginally less blurry is what I want to say. Um, I still can't really see anything much but um, yeah. I sort of sat down here and listened to the te sort of listen to the television and then if there's something I really want to look at I'll try and see if I can see a, um, a sliver um, tomorrow I'm going to have my stitches out it's got a nice long drive tomorrow uh, I'm not driving obviously that would be suicidal wouldn't it um, but um, I'm going to have a shower, wash this hair. And I, I don't know what, 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 what I can do with it, to be fair. Um, but maybe just that it's clean will, will be sort of good enough, I guess. So I'm going to go get these stitches out tomorrow. Now, I'm not even 100% sure whether I'm getting the uh, just the stitches taken out of the ears at the front and the back or that the stitches all across my eyes will come out or whether they're just going to dissolve in their own time I'm not quite sure um, but I think it will help actually because it will reduce um, a lot of the tightness which is um, very very good yeah. I'm still wearing my um, my sort of chin and support uh, but I just don't wear it all the time I sort of I, I actually I think I did I sleep with it last night no I don't think I slept I think I, I went to sleep without it and then this morning I just I did put it on because I just it just it, again it makes me feel quite safe um, I don't think anything much is going to happen today again it's the same old same old um, I don't really feel the need for painkillers um, just, I mean, it's uncomfortable, but not painkiller type uncomfortable. So um, we'll see what, what happens tomorrow, whether I feel a little bit better. I mean, obviously everything to me 
it's more about the eyes because it's just so debilitating you know this thing of and I keep saying it but the fact that you can't see anything and I honestly if, if I I'm not saying I wouldn't have gone ahead with it of course I would have but I, I do think that they need to be a little bit more honest about how rough this can be on your eyes especially um, uh, I mean, I, I would imagine I might be a little bit unusual, but I bet I'm not that unusual. Um, it's a terrible shock to wake up and not be able to see anything. Um, and then to not be able to see anything, you know, each day you think, oh, it's going to be better today. I'll be able to see better today. Or And um, day seven, and then, you know, I still can't really. I certainly don't feel normal in any way or able to. I couldn't sit and watch an hour's program or anything like that. Um, the strain is too much um, and thankfully I think I'm not sure but I'm looking at myself so I think that it doesn't look as bad as it does when I come up close and look at it at the mirror and see it will be yuck inside my eye but um, anyway sorry whinging whinging I'm gonna have a shower um, and I've had I've been having these magnesium bars in the last few days. Nice, very nice actually. I recommend it. Um, but now I'm actually allowed to sort of wash the hair and sort of stuff and like normal, have a shower like normally. Um, my husband thinks I'm going to fall over in the shower and kill myself. So let's let's hope that doesn't happen. Or else there won't be a post tomorrow. Um, but um, I'm going to go now. I have a shower. I might have some lunch. And um, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Hi there. Well, I thought I would do... I know I said I was gonna, wasn't going to bother with a, a video for a little while, but I thought I'd do one today. I'm not even sure what day it is now. I think it's about the 12th day, something like that. I don't know. Um, I mean, I don't feel terrible, don't feel too great, don't feel too terrible. Um, again, the eyes are still the bone of contention with everything. Um, still pretty blurry, um, sort of full of yuck and God knows what else and very, very difficult to, it's very exhausting and stuff like that. But I'm trying not to complain about it too much because I'm sure it can only, it can, it can only get better. Um, I downloaded Audible, by the way. It was a good idea if you, in the future, if you're ever thinking of having this kind of surgery, this is definitely what you should be doing, and and definitely not taking your Kindle into the hospital. Um, I can't see myself very well, so I, I think I'm doing all right actually. I think that um, I still think that I look because despite the swelling and everything, which I mean. I don't want to spend ages like showing you scars and stitches and stuff. I mean, you know, I don't know how interested you are in that. I'm sure if you could see them, you'd be, it would, it, you know, you'd see that there's not a lot to see, to be honest. I mean, it's quite tight. Of course, it's quite tight and it's quite sore. But I feel pretty good. Um, as you can see, my eyes are not, still not open particularly. Um... And, you know, I tell you, I think once it, it, it once that is over, I think it will be so much less... Ex sorry. <laughs> that was Buddy. Um, uh, oh, God, he's off now. He's heard the neighbour's dog and that's the end of it. Oh, God. Chihuahua to something else. I don't know. Anyway, um, they've been doing a lot of protecting of me. I don't know why they think I need protecting at the moment, which is crazy. Um... I haven't been out much really at all, apart from in the back garden and, you know, wearing my sunglasses and, and my big hat and everything. But, you know, you, there's, a, there's a shape forming. A lot of the swelling is much, much better than it was. I've got a, a 50 plus um, tinted moisturiser on. Or sunscreen, not moisturiser. Um, ouch. And, um, oh, I know I shouldn't do that really. But... Um, so today is today, today, today is today. Um, I'm not too bad. Um, 
I'm sure it can only get better. Surely it can't get any worse. Surely not. So, um, I'm not eating very much. I don't know. It's like you sort of crave rubbish because it's almost too, too much effort to almost eat anything. Um, but, um, no, I'm feeling all right. Not too bad. And, um, yum, 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 yum. I'll come back in a few weeks. Eh, week, weeks, days, whatever. See how it looks. I mean, if it looks incredibly better in a week's time, um, I'll let you know. Just thing, just to let you know, if you're ever thinking of having a blafferoplasty, don't take it lightly because um, it's a tough one. Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a video today because it's a bit of a eureka moment today because I can see. I know I look a bit crap and I know it looks still swollen, but honestly, it's still blurry, but it is so much better. Um, I have to say that um, obviously I was starting to get really worried about um, the blindness and, and the blurriness and the pain and stuff, but um, I just feel so much better today. And the thing is, what annoys me a little bit is that... Um, you know, when you first come out of your operation and there's some after-op information and they tell you things like, don't take ibuprofen and blah, 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 because it thins the blood and all that sort of thing. So, you know, you do all that and you do what you're told, right? So, I, you know, I did all that. And then I thought to myself, what was it, like day 13, day 12, whatever. Yeah, I've lost track, really. But I, I thought to myself, oh, you know, how am I going to get rid of this inflammation? So I thought, well, okay. Let me start taking my Benadryl. So I took Benadryl yesterday. Yeah, it's a little bit better, nothing great. And then I thought to myself, well, surely after this time, maybe ibuprofen might be an issue. Um, so I'm looking through the, um, or trying to look through, or getting my husband any, at least to help me look through Google to see. And, and I said, can I use ibuprofen? Um, two weeks after a blepharoplasty operation on the eyes. And um, one thing came up and said, ibuprofen could be your BFF after blepharoplasty. Now, don't you think that this really, really, really simple piece of information might have helped me a little bit? I mean, I, maybe I could have taken it on day 10 or, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying he's taking it away. All I can say is that I feel like a fucking 100% better. Now, if somebody had said to me, okay, you know, after day 12, love, you can try ibuprofen and give it a go. Now, these are the sort of things that people don't tell you that really are really, really important. You shouldn't just have the goddamn operation that you spent a fortune on. Then they kick you out of the bloody hospital the next day and then they see you in a week and say, oh, yeah, it's fine. You know, you may be blind and you're in agony, but you, it, it's, it'll get better. But there's no information, really, about what to do about it. Or put cold compresses on. Oh, that's the big thing, isn't it? Which, obviously, I have done every single day. Um, so I'm not moaning. I'm just saying. Well, I am moaning, aren't I? Um, I just want to say that these little pieces of information would have been really, really helpful at the beginning and stop you feeling quite so worried you know when things are not going well um so what i'm gonna when i get to the end if you know what i mean when i sort of in another couple of months or whatever when i've posted the final when all the swelling has gone i mean you can see that i'm there's much more movement i mean i can't i mean it's completely numb this whole side and this whole side, ooh, it's weird i can't feel anything it's very strange it's like somebody else's body but I mean, if you, oh, jeez, I don't want to show you scars and stuff. There ain't much to see anyway. Uh, most of them all were all taken out, so it's fine. Um, and I can really start to see the difference now and really start to feel a human being. I've got a friend who's going to take me out for a little drive on Friday, so that'll be really nice. Just it doesn't sound like much, but it's very, I'm very grateful because it's really nice to go out and talk to somebody that isn't got four legs. Um, so, so we'll do that on the Friday, and that's really good. And I promise to let you know. And I will tidy up all these videos because they're all a bit of a mess, aren't they? Um, but you know what? I think one of my biggest fears of having this operation that I still wouldn't, I wouldn't look like me anymore. That I'd look like somebody who'd had 
um, a facelift. And I don't know, do I look like somebody's, I mean, I look like somebody's had a bit of an accident, perhaps. Um, but um, you, I don't think that I, even with all this swelling, I really don't think that I look like I've had um, a facelift. So I still, like even my husband, who's the most squeamish person and was terrified of this operation for me, sort of said, oh my God, you still look like you. Which is kind of good. Um, so yeah, and, and I'm starting to feel like I'm coming back now. You know, I, um, a few more weeks, let's see. See what happens, maybe I can go back to work. Um, maybe this, the weather, go out, have a little, oh, just get a bit of sunshine. Thank God for the, my little courtyard garden or else I don't know what I would have done. Um, yeah, okay, so um, I'm all right today, I can tell you, I feel all right. I know I don't look 100% and you're probably thinking, blimmin' hell of the state of her, but honestly, it don't look too bad at all. And this is no filters on this either, no filters. I mean, there is no way in the past I would have spoken to anyone on a video without a filter on it. I mean, even when I used to speak to my kids and we do FaceTime, I didn't want to do FaceTime. I just didn't want to, because all I could see was the bags under my eyes. And, and it just upset me. So, I, you know, I'm talking to you with literally nothing on my face, no filters, not bad. I think it's like, I think it's day 13, I mean, something like that. Um, I might go for a little walk later on. Yeah, probably do me good. Um, love you. Speak to you soon. Bye. Hi, everyone. Well, it's exactly two weeks today that I had my operation. And, you know, um, to be fair, it's been a bit rocky. But what do you expect after such a big operation? I actually feel all right. I feel fine. My eyes feel so much better they're still very bit blurry and stuff but nothing compared to what it was i mean i can sit and watch a bit of telly i'm not sure about reading i tend to feel a bit sick if i read too much but apart from that i'm really not feeling too bad so i definitely feel like i'm on the mend um there's still lots and lots of numbness and um stuff like that which i would imagine is going to go on for quite a, a few months i should imagine um, but I'm fine with that. It's nothing. It doesn't stop me doing anything. Um, I keep touching my ear. I can just about feel my earlobes. I had no f sensation at all in my earlobes. But now, <laughs> but now, amazingly, I do. Um, so that's quite good. It'd be nice to get some feeling down this bottom end, but I'm not complaining. It's all doing really well. It looks like it's healing really well. Um, the bruising, as you can see, it's not not terrible I mean admitted I do have a little bit of um like a little bit of concealer on there because we had the electrician around this morning I mean typical isn't it um and he was here for ages and I just thought well I can't go around looking like I've been beaten up I thought Pete will get arrested so um so I covered that up a little bit this morning but apart from that I'm feeling okay I'm taking it easy today um, I had a lovely day yesterday I didn't do very much, but I had a good day and I had to talk to it with a friend and that really did cheer me up. I must say I'd forgotten. I mean, I think we spoke for about two hours, which is crazy, but it just made me feel so much better. So, um, you know, we're getting there, darlings. We're getting there. Um, you know, we'll see what it's like in another week. Shall we? Uh, we'll leave it for a week, shall we? Let's leave it for another week and see what happens. I do have lipstick on, but I promise you I haven't got foundation on and stuff, but I do have a little bit, bit of concealer trying to cover the, the, the this and yeah uh, it's a little bit and it was a little bit red the fillers here so it was I just covered that with a little tiny bit of concealer and I do have lipstick on but that's it uh, I'll speak to you in a week okay so um keep thinking about it and do your research see you soon bye hi there um I'm just doing this really quick video because um it's nearly three weeks now since the op uh, today is Tuesday and three week, it'll be three weeks on Friday. All I know is that um, um, that my eyes, actually today, oh, I don't know whether I'm in the right light or not, whether you can see it as well. Um, it is so bruised today. And obviously we're, we're, in, we're nearly three weeks in. Um, they're still as uncomfortable 
as they've ever been. They are still, I still feel like I've got sand in my eyes the whole time. I still can't see properly. Thankfully, um, the, the glasses that I use to drive with have sort of are perfect, but I don't want to wear them. I don't like wearing them all the time, so I just wear them if I absolutely have to and have to go in the car. But um, yeah, it's it, it, uh, it's just as bad. Um, the rest of it is not so bad. I think it's okay. I'm healing. Um, there's all sorts going on in the back of my ears. It's quite. Well, I've, I've got feeling in my lobes at the back. It's full of like dry blood and scab and stuff, and it's difficult when you can't actually see it. So I'm not going to really attack that too much. I'm just leaving that alone. Um, but the rest is healing all right. I mean, you know, you still felt like you're a burns victim in the morning, but um, um, I don't feel that you like you really need painkillers. It's just um, although I have occasionally taken take an ibuprofen but it's not working as much on my eyes as it did in the beginning I mean under here I mean I know you can't tell but it's as hard as anything it is like just so hard this one's not so bad oh, God. and they just weep the whole time still um, so I just thought I'd do the quick one just to say here I am and the bruising seems to be going through a different stage. There wasn't tons and tons of bruising to be honest and now there just seems to be. So I don't know whether that's a good thing or bad. Let's hope it's a good thing. Uh, speak to you soon. Hi. <laughs> Here's me in the hot tub. It's so lovely and lovely and warm. We've had such a busy day. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of exhausted exactly to be honest. Um, but it's lovely. Now I'm going to sit here for a couple of hours. I've got my, oh dear, small glass, my small glass of Prosecco and freshly squeezed orange juice that I got from Jemson's. <laughs> the oldies are the goodies. Um, yeah, it's lovely. I'm having a lovely evening. Night night all. Bye. Hi guys. Well, here I am, nearly four weeks in, and uh, I'm certainly not 100%, and there's still tons of swelling. Mm. Still not as bad, though. I, I think I'm, I'm, on, I'm definitely on the road to recovery. Um, and, you know, kind of starting to see the results now of, um, of everything. Um, I'm sure once I get my eyes back to normal and my vision... I'm sure that's going to help massively. Um, also help with going back to work, which, you know, I absolutely have to do because I have absolutely no money at the moment. Um, also, I'm sick to death of being at home. Um, okay, so how do I feel today? Um, I think today's, today's the 11th of May. Um, I still have very blurry vision. Um, still, I know it doesn't show that much, well, to be honest it doesn't really show, I know, but there is an awful lot of swelling under here, it's like as hard as a rock under here, especially, actually especially the left one, right okay, yeah especially the left one, um, so, but I'm starting to see what a good job has been done, I'm wearing makeup, okay, so um, which is kind of weird because it's a weird feeling putting it on. I mean, obviously not not um, eye makeup or anything. I've got um, my eyebrow pencil and stuff, but um, obviously no mascara and stuff like that because that's that would be crazy. Um, but it is funny because there is so much of my face that is completely numb. When you put something on there, it is the strangest feeling. I will, honestly, it really is. It's like when you... It's like going to the dentist, but it's half of your face. Um, I can't, I don't know how much you can see underneath my neck. I don't know. I'll have a look. <laughs> I'll have a look at that on the playback. Um, still very tight. Still not, not great at smiling. It's not my normal smile. 
but I'm trying. Very fake. But um, so I'm not smiling much at the moment. But inside I am um, starting to feel better. Thinking about going back to work. I think there's still a long going process, especially with the blurry vision, the fact that I need glasses a lot of the time, um, where I never did before. And you can see I'm blinking quite a lot because my eyes are always dry. And sometimes they feel like they're like this, like, like, like someone's jammed them open like that. But at the moment, I am not complaining because I think I look all right. And I don't think it shows too much at the moment unless someone comes really close and they can see the state of... Well, of course, there's obviously there's lots of there's a lot of scarring stitches around the back, and I'm sure I'm sure there's still staples in my ears for sure. I'm not going back to the consultant until the twenty fifth, um, and then he can have a look for me um, because obviously I still feel a bit like my ears are stuck to my face. But um, and there's definitely plasticky stuff, which is probably a staple. Um, it doesn't. And I and I think my husband thinks that there's staple um, there's stitches left behind when he's looked at the back of my ears. I don't know if that's true, um, but that's okay because it's not the end of the world. And the the consultant will see that when I see him on the twenty fifth. So uh, maybe on the twenty fifth I'll come back and tell you how I'm feeling. And I mean, ultimately, in another month, I'd like to give you a rundown of what it's really like to go through these procedures in reality and, and um, don't let anyone tell you it's like going to the hairdressers because it ain't. It's nothing like going to the hairdressers. Um, I mean, I get the principle and everything and I've said it myself, so I used to say it. So, but it's not true. Um, this is something big, something serious, something you need to get over and something that you don't just snap out of. Pardon the pun. <laughs> um... I'll speak to you soon, all right? And, um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Um, just keep hoping the eyes get better. And I can throw my face again. Okay, speak to you. Hi there. Um, well, I've just um, come out from seeing my surgeon. Uh, nearly six weeks, so it's the 25th day of May, and I had my surgery on the 15th of May. And I've just been to see my amazing surgeon um, to give me a checkup, check everything's okay, check that I'm healing all right. And um, uh, I have to say, I'm absolutely thrilled. He's absolutely amazing. Um, it's hard to believe. If you've seen the beginning of my videos and I know that he's he's got a video of me and pictures of me before and after um, so you can see the change that's happened over the last six well less than six weeks I feel like a new person it's been emotional God knows um, it's not been easy um, someone in my life passed away about <clears throat> three and a half, four weeks after the op, so that was really tough. So I didn't, um, it didn't help and aid my recovery. Um, I'm sure tears are not brilliant after surgery, but um, I just want to say I feel amazing. Um, yeah, I know it's drastic and all that sort of thing, and um, yeah, but. Do I regret it? Absolutely not. Uh, not for a moment. Um, I'm so thrilled with how it's gone. I'm so thrilled with the results. And um, I can just about smile. <laughs> um, I did all right. Um, and it can only get better. I mean, every day is a healing day. And, and every day, the scars look a little less. And um, discomfort becomes a little less as well. So, um, I don't know. I think this is the end of my journey because um, I hope that you can see that I look better than I did before. Whether you think it's worth it is up to you. For me, it's utterly been worth it. I, um, I would do it again in a heartbeat. 
um, especially with him, my surgeon, my consultant, who is an artist, basically, um, that you can do something like this to the human body. And uh, that was my stomach, sorry. I haven't had any lunch and it's late. Um, yeah, it's onward and upward with my life. Um, everything's going to be fine. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my videos. Um, my whinging, whinging and moaning about my ass. Because that was the rough. Oh, he talked, I mean, he talked to, got, went through the operation, what he'd done to my eyes. And I was stunned. He's just, he's an artist. It, this is, this is not just A, B and C type surgery. This is adapting a surgery for the individual. And he's definitely done that. So I want to thank him. And I'm going to say his name. His name's Jack Channer. And he's unbelievable. Um, based in London. Um, thank you for giving me a bit of youthfulness back. Um, and um, yeah, I feel pretty good about life. So <sighs> I'm just going to move on now. So I hope you've enjoyed all the videos that I've shown over the past few weeks. Don't let it put you off. But one thing I will say, pick the right surgeon um, because this is your face. If this goes wrong, you've got to live with this and look at it and other people will look at it for the rest of your life. Um, if they get it right the first time, then I don't know how many years I've got looking and feeling as good as I feel today. So um, thanks everyone. And thanks for, if you've watched my video, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook or whatever and all that crap. Not that I know that. I don't even know how to do that sort of thing. I love Instagram, but I don't know much about it. Um, love to you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Channa. I love you. And if we weren't in bloody COVID, I would have kissed you. He was probably relieved, obviously, that I didn't kiss him because I'm sure he, he really didn't want that. But... Um, he deserved a good old hug anyway, and I couldn't do that. But um, thank you guys. Um, thanks for watching.